Something right here. Royal jelly. I'm a little sleepy. Dude, if you're tired, get some rest, man. I know this game isn't the most interesting in the world right now. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I started it, so I kind of do want to play through it. But I'm also going to look at the... Um, their reviews and stuff and see what people say. Like if they say where it picks up or anything. Yeah, man. Have a good night. I'll be on tomorrow night too. Maybe a little bit longer since uh, I'll, I'm off on Saturday. But I, I don't know. I still have a little bit of time left tonight. So we'll see. Definitely see you tomorrow. All right, man. Sounds good. Get some rest. We'll talk to you then. Uh, whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Have a go on, man. Actress, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Try my best to keep looking up and down. Two pages out of an old encyclopedia. All the paintings and stuff is really cool on this. Where all eyes size you up. Yeah, this is definitely the room. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Music picked up. Go to the Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of the Song of Roland. Ah, Francois Premier receiving the Holy Family, a painting, The Fall of Phaeton, another painting by Rubens. Poor a fragment of amber. Mm. Celia, that name means nothing to me. <laughs> Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. Liberty or death by Regnault. That's well, pretty take cool. Liberty, please. But <laughs> when I do an, ah, a painting by Ingres, Molière dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. Martin. A painting with no name. Ah, Medusa. There's something in her eyes. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. So they all gotta face her. Rotate the statue for Medusa. Consider the value of when the I see the lantern and the shield, I can't help thinking back to my childhood. Mr. Dorfer, our teacher. As soon as the sun came out, I got a kick out of distracting him with the inkwell by deflecting the light with it. <laughs> I'd turn it in such a way as to direct a spot of light onto his face, not strong enough to dazzle him, but just enough to annoy him. Hey, what if I tried to annoy the Medusa with the lamp on the shield? Position it just right, and it might work. Hmm. So let's... So the man holding the shield. Hmm. 
Maybe like that. Can we rotate this statue? That's it. Nice. It's telling a story of distracting the uh, Medusa with the light. Whoa. A secret passage. Dev, no, you're not here for this. <laughs> Sake, Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Oh. Keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just. I mean, I. Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. Well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louie? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? Since you insist, Duchess, gallantry obliges this. Ladies first. You just won't give in, will you? <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. It isn't in my nature. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. Search the room with Emily. Okay. Read the inscription. Ancient Greek. Translated. It reads, The All Gifted. Could this jar be the original Pandora's box? Emily, I've found Pandora's box. It's not as impressive as I thought it would be, but that's how these things usually go. I detest that legend. Once again, women are made responsible for all of the world's evils. And stop playing with that pot, you'll break it. Come on, let's move on. The heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Emily, I'm pretty sure I've got Pandora's box. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you... Is this stuff... Um... Hmm. Uh... The inventory... This restores to... To that. Immediately assume it can only be Pandora's box. Logical. What I like about you, Louis, is that you never fail to surprise me. I mean, we can open it. Emily, what if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. All right, can we move on now? I <laughs> do love your irony, but honestly... Are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. Fearless. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Yeah, well. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. <laughs> That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. Flirting away. <laughs> the gospel according to Judas, or how to crucify Jesus as part of God's plan. You do realize that the contents of this book could undermine the very foundations of Christianity. One more reason to leave it in the secret room of a lost manor on a private island. Do you realize how important this book is? Of course, but what I really want to know is how did it come into Mortimer's possession? I was thinking the same thing about all the paintings and sculptures in the manor. Gee, is there anything England doesn't have yet? 
Wait. Yes, there is. The United States. <laughs> well, not yet. Besides, as far as I know, they don't speak French in the United States. Hey, Mortimer is the author of the Greek drachma, one of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Quran. Hmm. I want to look at the pistol. Is that three conjoined men? Golden Reed. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's Laurel Reed. Mm -hmm. Beef. Do you know why laurel wreaths are used and not, say, mistletoe or another plant? The laurel wreath symbolized glory in Roman times. In your opinion, what kind would suit me best? Mm, a crown of nettles. Oh, looks nice. like a pamphlet on different political regimes. Amber crystals. You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. Sword of King Arthur, maybe? I think this is Excalibur. King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet. You're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I what? wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. It doesn't seem like intriguing, but this do you would really be the story where somebody is immortal. Here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Mortimer's collection is unique, isn't it? That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art. Or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must have helped nearly everybody in the world. I oh wonder my why gosh. my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in She didn't in have here. time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't I'm gonna sure look into this stuttering for. thing. Or she wanted to protect her. There's any type of uh, it's disturbing. We'll fix for it the after. The room. Maybe we'll find something. What is that you found? Oh, A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want. What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. 
Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily. I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. True. Ha. And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Yeah, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna use another one of these. Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much oh, of your man. life. What is, I always forget what this do. Dialogue like timer is hidden. Off, uh, that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Yeah, I do, but... Like... Yes. You're the kind of girl who gets by on her own and who shares nothing. The fact is, you are completely mistaken about me. <sighs> no, damn it. I already have a work partner. Oh. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this. Come on, don't let me fail this one, it's please. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. Oh, God. You're a gambler. So, your partner is. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking well, for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. Mm. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected Thank me you, so strongly. Thank you, finally. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. Hmm. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from Holm, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. All right, that wasn't too bad. I, I like that interaction. That all the lore inside that so, uh, area. What do you think about cool. first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Investigation. Trait was unlocked. Like actually, like completely. You can equip one extra manuscript. That's awesome. Game one skill point in psychology. Sweet. Yeah, getting one of each is definitely going to be my plan. If, if I have any that are level one, then... Huh. 
to like level two. Reduces the effective points by one. That's pretty cool. And then the ones that you use the most, you can just keep upgrading them. But then at least I can still use these in certain situations. It's just my points will go down faster is all. Whoa. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louie, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Looks rough. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Oh. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, <laughs> we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? <sighs> Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. Fine. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. Only because she's making it seem so urgent. Well, Elizabeth, what was so urgent? For God's sakes, what happened in here? What? I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. All right. What have you got on your mind now? You've got to listen to what I have to say while there's still time. You need to know the truth about your mother. About my mother? What do you mean? I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw She's her. She's all the tattooed up. She tried to hide right away, but I'm and sure she has, it was like, her. Drawings and writing the all over the, the walls. While she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Yes, I need something to calm me down. No thanks, I, I'd better not. Listen, if you want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, Louie. What I have to say to you is of the utmost importance. Fine. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? Know where she gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa, the alcohol's <sighs> gone to my head. No. Here, the condemned's last drink. Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm going to stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're going to have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louis. Either drink or get out. Fine. Man, I I need to take it easy with the booze. At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. If she says one more, I'm not doing it. I don't care. Ugh. The second one isn't any easier. So, do you want to know why she did all those things to me or not? Even if it changes the image you have of her forever? What was she trying to cure you of then? 
of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. No. no. Elizabeth, I won't follow you. What's the matter? Little Louis afraid to look at the true face of his mother? You know my rules. Drink up. No. No, this time I'm saying no. No, I won't drink. All right, Louis. Then get the hell out of here. You're incapable of opening your eyes, so be it. Get out! She's insane. No more helping her at all. Clear headed. What's that? He left Elizabeth without getting drunk. Oh, that's good. Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? Actually, though. We should have ignored her after everything she said on the I steps. I could spend the night with Emily, but no. I had to go play the night with a big heart. Oh, well, never mind. Tomorrow's another day. Nice. Another dream? Does his beat up face ever go away? <laughs> I hope so. Yo, chill. Who's this? Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. Oh what my god. You are in deep trouble, my young friend. Alright, pick up that. We have three left. Uh, let's do... Let's do agility. And then one more point available. Yeah, that. The medical one. Okay. Jack of all trades. All right, so that's the end of episode one. Where's my mother? We can start a little bit of episode two. How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible without your mother. Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs. And Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Damn. Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. Manuscripts to read? Okay, let's see here. Not be equipped to assemble all the pages of this manuscript in order to read it. Faults on men and society. We only need one more for the encyclopedia. And that would be so nice, because you get all one point in all those. Um, points in logic. Alright, so we can do both of these then. Lord Mortimer's office. At last we meet, Monsieur de Richet. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas, and I wasn't even here to welcome you. 
When I asked you to join us here, it, it was, of course, in the hope that you would help us find your mother. But an act of horrific violence occurred during the night. And I do not know if this is linked to the disappearance of Sarah. If there's a possible link to my mother, I, I hope you'll let me know. In the... Uh... I really hope the thing with his eye goes away. In the hours of the morning, Elizabeth Adams was found dead in her room, savagely mutilated with a knife. I'll get straight to the point, Louis. According to the initial elements at my disposal, you were the last person to see her alive. Yes, last night we... Uh... Do you suspect me? I want you to tell me everything that happened last night and leave nothing out. Tell me, how did the evening begin? Duchess Hillsborough and I were returning to our rooms when... Elizabeth came up to us. She was in a state of panic and assisted that she needed to speak to me. She said she feared for her life. I took my leave of the Duchess and followed Elizabeth to her room. Mm -hmm. Continue. She insisted we have a drink, without which she refused to confide anything. What exactly did she want to speak about? About my mother. She had just found out that I was Sarah Deriche's son. Elizabeth wanted to tell me about the horrors my mother apparently inflicted on her. Finding out that your own parents had always lied to you. Well, that must not have been an easy thing to hear. But do go on. I refused to go on drinking with her. She already seemed drunk and her conversation became confused. So, then she ordered me to get out. If only I'd stayed. Don't blame yourself, Yui. How could you have known? But thank you for this new information. Louis, I what shan't is hide that noise in the this background? tragedy puts me in a very delicate situation. I cannot risk upsetting the smooth operation of our next conference. But the case cannot remain unaddressed. I must reassure my guests, and justice will be done. And for that to happen, I must ask for your help. Why is that? You met Elizabeth. You spoke together, I believe. She trusted you. Listen, Louis. Find out who could have committed this murder. I refuse to believe that one of my guests is the murderer. I want to know who is responsible for this. And I trust you. You have my backing. You must stop at nothing. Can I count on you? Of course. H how would you like me to proceed? Maybe you could start by going to the scene of the crime. Elizabeth was attacked in her room. Can you tell me anything else about what happened? Now, Louis, I wouldn't want to influence you. Get over there and form your own opinion. Do you have any suspects in mind, my lord? I spent most of the night talking with Sir Gregory and his eminence Piaggi. So, I think you can remove them from the list of suspects. Monsieur Bonaparte and President Washington left the party after midnight, I believe. They were tired and went up to bed. Right. I'll get over there immediately. Thank you, Louis. Now, once you've finished, come back and let me know your findings. I'll be waiting. And Louis, you've got permission to search through the guests' rooms. They've all been notified and they agree. Nice. All right. Well, right here is just about a perfect point for me to stop for the night. Um, tomorrow night we'll go ahead and continue here uh, I'm glad it's kind of starting to pick up I'm gonna look into that error that I keep getting with the whole uh, um, the stuttering and stuff and then I'll also uh, maybe bumping down these will help a little bit but we'll see uh, maybe even going full screen would help with that uh, tomorrow night, same time, I'll be back on, and then we can go ahead and uh, continue this.